Ed Sheeran joins us now from his home in London. Ed, good morning to you. How you doing? Very well. How much are you looking forward to getting back to Australia to tour? Yeah, I, mate, I really, really am. I really am. I'm, I'm uh, excited that gigs are back on, really, because um, I just didn't think that big gigs would get back to normal this quickly. So I'm excited in you know, my own country and Europe and blah, 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 but especially Australia and New Zealand, because it's just been so long since I've uh, been out there to, to play. I mean, I got out there um, last March, but for a different reason. But yeah, I'm really, really um, excited to get back. I'm going to be putting out the final album in the five series of, of album, because it's obviously called The Mathematics mm. Tour and it's got the five symbols and obviously there are only four albums out. But by the time the tour comes next year, the this one will have will have come so it's basically i was writing a set list i'm doing warm-up shows this week and i was writing a set list and it's essentially not like the hits because i think if you were to go on the the hits it would be like whatever's streamed the most or whatever sold the most but sometimes there are songs like I have a song called give me love that charted at like number 25 in in england and wasn't particularly like a chart hit or a, or a, what whatever hit but amongst my fans that's like their favorite songs so it's basically i've done a set list of fan favorites and also the the bangers so it's uh it's it, it's good it's a good it's a good set list now speaking of memorials uh, a lot of australians know you're good mates with shane warne his private family funeral took place yesterday and you'll be recording a special tribute for the public memorial service at the melbourne cricket ground later this month uh, what are your best memories of shane ed um, you know, I, I don't really, I, I have loads of memories of him being great to me, but my best memories of, of him being great to other people, I think like he, his heart was so big that it was, you know, like he, me and him had a great relationship and I have amazing times that I can think of where I'm like, oh, we did this and we did this. But the, I think the best times I can think of with Shane is where he met my friends who he'd never met before or met my family who he'd never met, you know, people that he'd never met before. And then he made amazing memories for them. And uh, you know, when he passed away, the amount of people in my life that messaged me and was like, oh my God, do you remember when Shane did this for us and when Shane did this and when Shane did this and he, you know, that those things will never fade. Those things are massive parts of people's lives forever because he was such a incredible um, sportsman. Um, people knew him for that, but then when they got to know him as a person, that was the thing that actually shone more than his talent and achievements was him as a person. And, you know, like, it, I think those are, the, those are the things that never die, are the memories that you uh, make for people rather than just, who who you are i think you know he's a i don't really know i get i get i've done so many aussie interviews about this tour and everyone always asks me about shane and i always feel quite uncomfortable talking about it because i don't want to seem like i'm just coming on to talk about shane but i i don't want people to not think that he is not an amazing bloke and uh, yeah i don't know um, pe now, people watching uh, would be absolutely sure where you're coming from. Ed, beautiful words there about shane warren hey looking forward to seeing you in australia next year thank you so much for your time this morning Thank you, man. Thank you so much.